I'm Emma and this is my partner Alex. We are a British couple who love a good road trip, so much so that we recently bought a campervan in the US to use as a holiday home on wheels. In this video, we experience our first week living full time in our new van, traveling up through our first state of Michigan. Hello Beans, we pick up exactly where we left off on the last video at the state park that we stayed in for our first night. We are just about to leave now and we are getting ready to go and explore Michigan. Our first day on the road turned out to be a shopping day, picking up a few extra things for the van to make it a little bit more comfortable. Ending our day having dinner with new friends before heading to our next campsite. The next day we headed up to Muskegon, where we were excited to be meeting with some other YouTubers, Frank and Alicia from You're Never Too Old to Travel. Is this this one? one here, yeah. I mean, I hope it's theirs. We're pulling into someone's house. This could be so awkward. Actually, Americans are so friendly. This won't be awkward. <laughs> <laughs> it will be a hilarious mishap. I think they're friendly until you're on their property, right? Oh, shit, yeah. <laughs> yeah, if we're not shot first. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I can't believe it. I feel like I know you guys. <laughs> yeah, can, can I have a look? Now, uh, can you stand up right in here, Alex? Yeah, yeah, I can. Can you? Or no. if you move forward oh, a little bit? You would need to come forward. Oh, forward, okay. And I think you could. Oh, yeah. Now you're in. Yeah, just. Yeah. <laughs> as long as you stand in that exact spot, you're fine. Right. Oh, wow. Yeah. wow. I wanted it to have a Muskegon flavor. <laughs> okay, well, I, I mean, I could feel the cold coming out of it. So, uh, I think I could it's guess cool. straight away. Oh! Ah. <laughs> cool. Cheers! Cheers! After catching up with a beer, Frank and Alicia wanted to show us some of their favorite local spots. What is that? Yeah, Those what is turkeys. That? Turkeys? We have turkeys and deer. What? <laughs> no way! Is this just normal for you? Yes. Yeah, here, it slow. <laughs> There's four turkeys on their driveway! <laughs> Your face. <laughs> yeah. We know Alec likes his birds. I was like, where can I take him to see birds? Yeah. <laughs> These videos will not do it justice how big the sand dunes are. They're ridiculous. We're currently on the lookout for bald eagles. They've seen them in this spot before. Although it's unlikely, you just never know. Yeah. What a lovely spot for sunset. Yeah, really Oh nice. yeah. I always yeah. tease her and say, seen one, seen them all. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a grumpy old man to me. <laughs> We had a fantastic evening together, enjoying live music and great food in a beautiful location right on the beach. We continued the drive north to Ludington State Park. Here, the plan was to just get some editing done, but it turned out to be the best spot of the week so far, with beautiful local nature trails. A snake, I almost stepped on a snake. And we just seen the sign warning about rattlesnakes. <laughs> you jumped out, you're scared. I jumped, because it moved. I was like, why is that twig moving? <laughs> With the video editing done, we were able to rest and fully enjoy an evening off, ready for an early start the next day. This morning we have a really fun activity that we're going to do and it's something that I've always wanted to try out anytime I see Advertise. We're going to go out on a dune buggy <laughs> on these massive dunes. I don't think I could be such a combination of scared and excited. <laughs> and a huge shout out to Sun Buggy for gifting this to us. Thank you guys, this is going to be awesome. <laughs> you were giggling like a little child. <laughs> it reminds me of when I go on roller coasters, I'm the same. I'm just like laughing hysterically the whole time. <laughs> 
The surroundings to do this in are just breathtaking. This is Silver Lake State Park, right next to the water, huge dunes everywhere, kind of like an oasis of little pockets of trees. Just it's, it's so so pretty, isn't it? We just have like, nothing like this in the UK. It's, nothing. It's <laughs> so great. We've only got two hours. <laughs> We've been talking to you chums for a minute, so we're losing out on time. Yeah, it's let's go. <laughs> But Emma does all the driving because she usually feels sick and lo and behold she feels sick again. Yeah! <laughs> so I had like a whale of a time for like 15 minutes and now I feel like I'm going to puke so I was just <laughs> to start driving. Okay. That's the breakdown. I'm stuck! I feel sheepish because I was the one driving when we got stuck. I decided to take us around the area that they said you might get stuck. Hey! <laughs> So right now we've just stopped because there's a drag racing track <laughs> and people just keep sort of coming around, lining up and then racing each other. <laughs> it's just so much fun to watch. It kind of reminds me of, um, you know, pod racing in Star Wars. Yeah. It's got that kind of vibe. Oh, it has. Yeah, with all the sand dunes around. Yeah. So one of the guys at Sun Buggy has just seen us parking off on the beach and offered us to swap buggies so we could try out something different. Just, just like look at the difference in size, how high up we are. Yeah. And that's how high we are. <laughs> that was so much fun to drive, that little dune buggy. Let's see what this one can do. Okay, I am a mixture of all kinds of things right now. I am absolutely buzzing whilst simultaneously feeling exhausted. <laughs> that was so much fun. I was having 10 out of 10 fun with the first thing we got. Yeah. And then when we were given the UTV, that thing was next level. And if you're going to come and you want my recommendation, get that. Because you can go everywhere <laughs> in it. And I think that's what's so fun with it. It's like, you see like the steepest tallest dune you can just go up it like it's oh. it's nothing it just eats up the dune i want to say a huge thank you to sun buggy and randy and his team for for getting us out on the dunes it was such a cool experience yeah. if you're in the area definitely check them out i feel like all that adrenaline i have worked up quite the appetite i think we need to find ourselves some breakfast Luckily, it wasn't long until we stumbled on a nearby diner for an awesome breakfast. Exhausted and full, and with a storm rolling in, we quickly found our next park up for the night to hunker down. We want to take a moment to thank this week's fun and exciting sponsor, Beyond One X Music Festival. Beyond One X is a European electronic music festival taking place in late September on the beautiful island of Cyprus, where you can party to your heart's content on the shores of the Mediterranean. The festival will take place over two weekends with over 40 world-class DJs playing from early evening right into the early hours of the morning, as well as food, sports and relaxation zones with activities such as volleyball and yoga to keep you entertained in between. The lineup includes world famous DJs such as Carl Cox, Boris Brecher, Deborah DeLuca and many others. If you are interested on heading over to be on One X Music Festival this September, make sure to do it before those prices start to go up. Just follow the link that we'll leave down in the description below. 
I can't believe that it's almost been a week already. I know, it's nuts. Time where is has, flying by. Where has it gone? Today's actually going to be a really exciting day and it's going to feel especially road trippy because we're going to be going on a scenic drive on our way up to Sleeping Bear Dunes. So many of you have recommended that we go to this. This is a national park. We've only been in the state park so far. We do have our national park pass which allows us to get into all the national parks here. I don't know if it's actually all of them. I think some of them aren't included. I mean, it's not an ad, it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> some of the national parks. <laughs> Hopefully this one, but we'll find out, I guess, when we get there. This is the first time filling this up, and I think we've only got a quarter of a tank left, so it's gonna be the first time we know what the damage is gonna be. <laughs> I so mean, it's not gonna be cheap, is it? It's 3.75 a gallon, which compared to the UK, I know in the US everyone's complaining about the prices, this is so cheap compared to home. <laughs> so I think it works out roughly like half. Quietly hopeful that even a very expensive tank is still gonna be cheaper than what we would pay in England. Pleasantly surprised. Did you see how much it was? So, wow, that's in dollars as well. Eighty four dollars. Nice. It's a cheap baby to run. <laughs> <laughs> Now it feels like we're really road tripping because we've come to a viewpoint on the side of the road. We didn't know it was there, but you can see a load of cars, so you know it's gonna be a nice view. And every time I see this lake, I cannot believe the color of this water. If you come over here, you can actually see sand from the beach down there. It makes it look like a proper little like tropical island. And it really does rival some of the beaches we've seen around the world here. just stopped at the town of Frankfurt on the way here and one of the things to come and do is to come and taste their lovely tasty water that they have on show <laughs> proudly. It's said to have loads of health benefits because it's packed full of natural minerals. It's good for what ails you. I, I don't know if I'm just being picky here but it just looks kind of gunky and gross. I guess it's mineral deposits right it's probably not a bad thing. Yeah, they just want you to wrap your whole mouth around that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I bought actually a water bottle so I could just fill it up. <laughs> Would I fly from England to come and taste this water? Yes, it's that good! <laughs> no, I mean, it, it tastes fine. <laughs> it is fine. No funky taste? Well, it tastes different, but probably because it's better for you than normal tap water, I guess. Yeah, probably. Quite metallic tasting. Not for you? I'm not the biggest fan. We are now doing the scenic drive within the Sleeping Bear Dunes National Park. It's only about a seven mile drive, but I think there's a number of view stops along the way. There's no sign yet of the dunes, but I believe that they are way bigger than the Silver Lake dunes that we were buggying on. Those things were outrageous, so I can only imagine how big this is. This is mad. It, I don't know if you can actually see this on camera, but there's a teeny tiny paddle border all the way down there, which just shows how high up we are so on this small. dune. No wonder they have to rescue people. Yeah. Could you imagine going all the way down there and having to walk back up again? No, thank you. This viewpoint is definitely worth coming on the scenic drive just to get to this point. Yes. So big, just hard to comprehend. People trying to climb back up that dune. Yeah. It's they're having to like bear crawl and they're stopping like every few meters. And slipping. It just looks like a world of pain in this heat. <laughs> That's probably why it's called sleeping bear dunes, because you've got to do a bear crawl. <laughs> and then you have to sleep after because it's so exhausting. So the real reason why it's called sleeping bear dunes 
there was a French explorer back in like the 1700s that when he first came he was like oh that looks like a big sleeping animal like a bear hence sleeping bear dunes how do you have different information to me because I just read the story and it was about three bears two cubs and a mother the two bears died on the swim what? and then the mum there's literally i've read it off a sign i literally just read that off a sign different signs different <laughs> information which one's right a number of people have been recommending for us to go to cherry republic where cherries are the main thing they're growing here and creating all kinds of goodies out of. I love cherries, Al's less keen. I don't really like cherries, so the thought of every product being tainted <laughs> by cherry sounds terrible, but I'm more than happy to go in there with a closed mind. <laughs> <laughs> Always. <laughs> That's more my thing. The problem with going to places like this is I always go in thinking I'm not going to buy anything and then I leave having spent an extortionate amount of money. With our cherry goodies in tow, we checked into our next very busy campsite before swiftly heading out to find someplace quieter to spend the afternoon. This is the first time that we're going to get in to Lake Michigan. You might be wondering why we're getting in right by the rocky bit where all of a sudden it's lovely over here. At this exact line of the rocks is where the public beach and a private beach ends. So we thought if we come right to the edge of it, it feels like we get this secluded part of the beach. <laughs> How is it? It's refreshing, let's say it that way. I think it's pretty nice. Yeah, I'm surprised because you're usually a complete wimp when it comes to cold water. All right. <laughs> this is my worst nightmare. Look at how much sand Alex has on his legs. It's funny, we do the same things in the water. Why do <laughs> I have so much more sand on me? Yeah, I have a bit on my feet and that's it. You are absolutely covered. How do you do that? It's because I'm wearing flip-flops and they're kicking up. Oh, and it's so <laughs> sticky. Wet. <laughs> I'm going to have to hose you down. This is just your way of getting rid of that mineral water you didn't like. <laughs> this is kind of embarrassing. <laughs> My woman is cleaning me before I'm allowed back in like a dog. <laughs> Refreshed and sand free, we headed back to the campsite. Time to dump the poop. I mean the wee. We don't do the poops in there. <laughs> That's an interesting fact about British people actually, is we don't poo. <laughs> <laughs> That's because... That's why we're all so uptight. <laughs> yeah. Really this is Emma's favourite part about camping. I'm just excited to be able to wee in the night because we have a nice empty tank. <laughs> Is that in someone else's pee that just dropped into? Yeah, we won't touch that side. There's in there. Lovely. Um, should that be leaking? Push the black tank in more. <sighs> oh, it's as far as it goes. Oh, we're going to have to get that seen too. I'm going to have to do this quick. <laughs> it's going to come spraying out at me, isn't it? That was disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> that is absolutely vile. You might be wondering why Emma gets all of the fun jobs. Well, we basically take it in turns to do different jobs. So right now, my, I'm on water duty. I have drawn the long straw. Emma's got the short straw this week. Plus, it, I don't know why, but it's just more funny to watch Emma squirm as well. A 
apparently all I had to do to make the black tank close properly was to twist it slightly. So user error has meant that pee is splashed all over the designated pee area. It could have been worse, okay? It could have been worse. It could have been twosies. It definitely helps having someone as lovely as Emma to deal with your waste. <laughs> <laughs> So I would recommend anyone watching to either get your wife to do it. <laughs> Mistress, but whatever woman that's in your life, get her to clean up your waist. <laughs> Staying in places like this is super handy because they do have all the facilities you need, dumping your waste, filling up your water, all that jazz. However, we have been chatting, haven't we, about this? Yeah, definitely in the future, in the near future, I want to get boondocking or wild camping or rustic camp. There's so many words for it out here. <laughs> we love staying out in the middle of nowhere in the van. Like yeah. when we've come on past trips to the US and we've got rentals, some of the best nights stay have been just randomly boondocking around. Especially for nature, that is when we see our best nature. So that's what we want to do is get further into nature hopefully see some amazing wildlife yeah. as we head up through the state of michigan we are going to be heading to much more remote places so maybe we'll have to test out a bit of boondocking and get away from all the crowds let us know in the comments if you have any tips for boondocking is there any good websites to find places or just some tips for some lost beans in general <laughs> we are aware that the rules probably differ from state to state and we are very clueless so any information that you guys could give us would be very greatly appreciated Thank you so much to our patrons for supporting us on our journey. And if you enjoyed the video, give it a like, hit subscribe, and nothing left to say, but thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time, and beans out.